And if you love killing dinosaurs as much as I do, you'll agree that this game tur rocks. What's going on, everybody? I'm Stubbs, that's Damien, and this is our new segment, RH Weekly. And in our number one thing, look at this. We have Logitech, the G Cloud is here. Uh, you can pre-order it and it ships on October 18th. Damien? Oh, I've got I've got things to say about this. You've got opinions. So, You've got thoughts. Tell us. So when what, this, when, what is it? When the information dropped, like the pricing, the specs, because yeah. we've, we've got all the information now. We've got most everything sure. I think we need at this point. Um, I've seen a lot of people complain, which, which yeah. to be fair, some of those complaints are valid, specifically coming yeah. from a community that's used to dealing with Android handhelds. I totally get it. It's three hundred dollars, mm-hmm. up to three fifty after the period. I don't. I don't think they're ever actually going to charge three fifty. You can buy it on Amazon. You can buy it on you Best can. Buy. And once the pre-order the pre-order time's over, it'll be there. What two day shipping? Or go pick it up in the mm-hmm. store. Like right. when have we ever had that? Like ever in it, this community? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a luxury. It was so wild to me to hear one of these retro handhelds is going to be in a Best Buy. Right. Even though it's for streaming, it's still, it's cool. The only problem is, of course, is the price. Right. This needs to be like 150 right. to 200 bucks max. And, and I want to qualify that. I want to qualify that. Sure. $150 for the specs that it comes with, because it's got, what, a... Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, 2.3 gigahertz processor in it. Um, mm-hmm. It's a, an, an Adreno 618 at 750 megahertz for a, a GPU. It's got four gigabytes of RAM. It's got 64 gigabytes of internal storage. You can put a mm-hmm. SD card in it, so storage is whatever. This thing's got a 6,000 milliamp battery on it for a, for an Android handheld, which is puts it up there. That's in like Odin nice. territory. So that's yeah, it does. uncommon because most of these things come in at like 4,500. Um, it's got a 1080p screen on it. It's got a seven inch screen on it. So we're in tablet ter- tablet territory there. Right. Um, headphone jack, which is apparently a luxury these days. Um, it looks like it's got really good, <laughs> really good analog sticks on it. L2, sure. R2 stack triggers. I mean, these are things that everybody like is like celebrates when they see it. But when this came out, everybody was saying it was a hunk of garbage. Like, I don't understand. It's got Android 11. It's got Google mobile service on it, which means it's going to have the Play Store. It's going to have all those Google apps on it. For all intents and purposes, this is a $300 Android tablet with physical controls on it. It's basically a large retro handheld that runs Android. For $300, right. you get a two-year warranty with it from Logitech, a company that we all know. It's a household name. It's not AIN. It's mm-hmm. not Pow Kitty. It's not It's not a company that's based out of China that's not a local company. It's got a real warranty on it. Not that I have a problem with those companies, but it's something that we all know and trust. It's going to have solid build quality because Logitech doesn't make garbage. It's got a 1080p screen right. on it. It's going to be It's going to be a solid device. And you're going to be able to walk into like Best Buy. You're probably going to be able to walk into Target this holiday season and buy this thing right next to the Xbox boxes for three hundred dollars out the door and and you know it's got bluetooth got wi-fi 5 it's it's there it's 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 a great handheld for this you know for this community can you get better specs for the price probably actually definitely can you get it today yeah. <laughs> no you gotta wait six months if you want a, an AIM product if you want an odin you got six months you gotta wait Right. I think this it's thing's true. gonna be great, and and even then, even yeah. then, if the pricing doesn't make sense for this community, if the pricing doesn't make sense for for the people that are in this in this uh, in this hobby, I totally get it. It doesn't make sense for a lot of people. I personally don't have a super major use case for this, although I do like the idea of being able to play X Cloud and local streaming on something that's a seven inch screen with physical controls, because we don't really have that so far. So it's in a fairly unique space. But what it does is it brings all those people that play Xbox, all those people that play PlayStation, all those people that play Steam games, all the people that are on Stadia, xCloud, all those streaming services who are interested in buying this. Within a year, they're in our Discord server. They're they're in here asking about emulators. They're in here saying, what can I do with this device that I purchased from Logitech? Right. It's going to grow this community. And I'm 
so excited about that. It's 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 what I've it's the only thing I've been waiting for Stubbs. It's the only thing that I've really wanted. It's 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 mainstream penetration and I'm right. so excited to see it. And and seeing people complain about it just doesn't make sense to me. I really think this is going to be awesome. Plus, I mean that yeah. that that SOC is not a super power draw with a 6000 milliamp battery. Come on. Like like you're playing PlayStation and down on this thing for like 2 days with with, with before charging it. So So I guess the SOC is going to be that Snapdragon Snapdragon 720G. That's right. That's what it is. 720G. So producer is producer Gary's talking to us here. <laughs> so we should we should see at least what at least PlayStation and down. You'll probably get into some GameCube at this point. Like you're definitely going to be yeah. seeing Dreamcast. I mean, I'm not a I'm not a tech head when it comes to the SOC, but based on those specs, I would be surprised if we're not seeing at least some fairly decent emulation. Um, plus all the streaming apps, of course. That's the, the main focus of this. Is it designed for this community? No. Will it bring people to us? Absolutely. And that's really all I wanted out of this. And that's exactly what I'm going to get. This is a Christmas gift, dude. And people complaining about like like saying that it might not sell. I mean, yeah. what what consoles is 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 launching this? Year? Oh, it's nothing. It's going to I mean, it's going to it may not sell out right away, but I have a feeling it will. Uh, because eventually, I mean, come on, let's be honest. People are going to start to come down from that price shock factor and be like okay we're getting a corpo first party handheld here that is doing all the best android stuff uh, that could have very ergonomic nice controls and also dude you can do emulation on here that's fun and this the screen as far as i can tell looks nice i think people are hating on this prematurely yeah. that's that's what i think I, it's funny because I thought you actually were going to be on the side of it's way too expensive. This is crazy. And I thought we were going to have a fun little debate. But instead, it seems like we share our the same opinion. Like, this is actually pretty cool <laughs> that we're getting this first party type of handheld that crosses over into our world yeah. like this. It's not the Steam Deck. It's not a, a hack switch. I mean, this is kind of what we've been waiting for. Maybe this is the ultimate handheld that I was looking for when getting into this hobby. And I'm just now too like whacked and jaded to notice it yeah i mean and it's i'm holding out hope it's not perfect right like it's not i'm i i gotta say it this way it's not for us like it, it's not marketed to us and i get that people no. that are in the same space as us are like well i don't understand this but it makes right. sense to someone who uses an xbox a lot who wants to hang out in bed yeah sitting next to their wife while you know she's yeah, doing whatever she's doing forza. yeah and if you want right. to play forza you want to play destiny or something doing? like that this is what this is designed for and eventually you're going to run out of x cloud games to play or you want to play a retro yeah. game and you're maybe you're not a nintendo person sure. you don't have access to nintendo switch online but you do have access to emulators because this is an android handheld you do and that that's going to bring do. people right to us and that's going to grow our community and that's what we're all about baby that's what we're all about. All right. And with that, we'll move on to the next thing, which is, man, Damien, you're fired up tonight, man. man. I got you're, opinions you're, and I'm not afraid to share them. I'm gotta, really excited to see people come our way. Like, I want to make new friends. And I think this is going to be a good yeah. way for it. This will be the chance. This will be the, the, the gateway to build the community, to build the scene, to build just what we have going here. So what do we call the Logitech cult, the Logitech tribe? I have no idea. They need like a name. <laughs> Logi boys. Like the Logitech G's, the Logi boys. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I'm excited to touch it and see what that vent smells like. like Let's move on. Let's move on. This show's longer. We get it. This is RH Weekly. It's the same show, but with more. It's show plus, if you will. Um, Look what we have here. Our buddy, Russ. He got Batisera up and running on his gosh dang Steam Deck. <laughs> what? Look at this. Look at this guy. He loves Batisera. He loves it. Yep. Great, great solution if you're somebody who wants to be able to, to switch over to to retro games. Like you leave your leave your Steam yeah. library, leave your modern Windows games, and be able to switch over to some older consoles, PS2 and down. It's a it's a great option to be able to just switch over and start playing those without having to do well, a ton of setup. And here's what's really neat is that you don't need a USB stick sticking out yep. of it when you're playing yep. it. It's on the micro SD card this time. So that's just, God, that's cool. Yep. And if you have a Steam Deck, now I'm sure you can get way longer battery life. Yep. Uh, I heard that they're gonna get some TDP controls or there's some at least manual way to access the TDP. 
on Batisera now. That's one of the things that was missing from Batisera as far as like being able to just put it on an x86 machine and play retro games. Right. It works great, but you still have all that power draw. Um, well, and their focus, I think, was for home consoles and for of course, desktop of course. builds. For HTPC builds, really. Well, yeah, plug in the SD card, you hold the right combo of buttons, select the right operating system, and boom, you're into that emulation station-esque, you know, environment. Which you... Oh, that looks... I mean, that looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So here's Ratchet & Clank on PS2 running. I wonder what type of battery life Russ got here. Everybody go check out this video. Check out Definitely. Retro Game Core. Bravo, bravo. All right, look at this. We got other new handhelds coming. The One X Player Mini... They have a deposit opening now for the new one, which is that Ryzen 6800U. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only a $50 deposit. So they're following in the footsteps of AYN and Valve. Yeah, they really went mm. went all out in making this kind of a really solid handheld as far gigs. as like different features. You've got the LED lighting on it. You've got, got a bump out. You know, really solid specs to it. It's got a seven inch screen on it. Um, a fairly decent battery from what I understand, which 48 is watt hour. big for me. Yeah. Uh, solid controls. They're talking about no dead zone, no no drift. So, you know, robust. They're, they're doing those Hulse, those hull sensors. Yep. So. Okay, and it has linear analog uh, triggers as well. The battery is 12,450 milliamps. Now, I like that it's a smaller size. That's what I like about it. It's yep. that seven inch screen, uh, 1920 by 1200 at 323 PPI. Man, you got that M.2 MVME storage, PCIe 3.0, uh, Wi-Fi 6 on there. That's gonna be great for streaming, mm -hmm. of course. Although why would you stream on something that is this beefy? Um, here's the question though, how do we get that big of a battery in such a small form factor. This thing has got to be heavy, but we'll see. Aluminum heat sink for 50 bucks. Ooh, that's not bad. Ooh, that's not bad. Well, that's, that's, I just, I, <laughs> I know, I know, and I know it's going to be well over a thousand dollars, but just that fact that, you know, you drop 50 bucks down and then you decide later, do I really want this? That's a, that's a later Stubbs problem. Yeah. And here's the, um, here's the evil you, thing I can what? add to that. They do have a financing what? program on their website oh god and they have a <laughs> and they have a finance who wants this there's so many other options already there you got this whole thing covered with your i and neo with the with the 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 ayn loki skews oh, you do know that one x will produce and it'll be here it's going to be very expensive and especially that they're making a 6800 u this is going to be like god it's gonna be like 1300 bucks Oof, that's just not fun in the retro handheld scene. It's a crowded market. That kind of money. Those high-end x86 devices, I mean, they're they're pretty crowded. I mean, that does have a pretty big battery. Not everybody's well, got that, so. Not, it's true, and let's talk about their previous devices. I mean, One X had the, the bigger 8.4-inch version. Uh, they had the previous Mini, the 7-inch from last year. Uh, and those were fine, and a lot of people love those. They're revered and adored, as far as I've heard. Um, the color scheme's not my personal favorite, but I know they've they've released one in white in Panda, which looked pretty cool. It's going to be too much money. They just though, need to get their different me. color skews down too. Like I don't want this black and orange. I want mix. something fun. I'm yeah, I want something fun. Let's get even weirder. The another new handheld called the One X Fly <laughs> is an upcoming handheld with AMD Mendocino yeah. in it. Apparently, this is also from the One X Player people. Yeah. So the same company who gave us the expensive one, the one we we're just talking about now is making something for the lower end skew, like the INEO Air Plus, a smaller, cheaper handheld. Okay, you know what? This I'm kind of excited for. So what's it gonna have? The Mendocino Ryzen 5, 1080p display, six inch. You've got a fairly vanilla six inch 1080p display. Um, obviously we know the, the Mendocino setup, which is the Ryzen 5 7 5 20 you tbd right like we'll see we'll see how it how it performs but i think this will be hey, fairly damien. on par with the uh, the aim damien look at this Ooh. the one x fly we're getting fresh pics here this is posted 32 minutes ago nice so it comes in white look which, at that everybody instantly makes me 50 percent more interested <laughs> wow <laughs> the one x fly that okay this is cool this all of a sudden is cool. Look at that. Love that. Love the colors they're going for. The LED lighting. I hope it's as low end as possible. I just hope that it's just bargain bin everything inside just, of it, it so we can get the price down. It just needs to have a battery that makes sense for the love of yeah. God. Please. Put all the money into the battery and the least amount into the chip. I mean, that's sacrilegious to say, yeah. but it's really about at this point, it's going to be about battery life. 
and cost. Yeah. Because the the processors are fairly right. fairly the same, the screens are fairly the same, the the build quality is fairly vanilla across the board. The controls, same thing. You've got some perks like L RGB lighting and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, a device that lasts an hour or two versus one that lasts four plus is going to be a big deal. And I think the battery is really something where a lot of the current market is lacking. So you you, you joke about it, but I seriously think that that's no, where I we know. Really need to see it. Let's see where this battery is in this one. I this is a very attractive looking. Handheld. Oh, it it's definitely looks good. At That's six for inches. Sure. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. All right. This is a fun little like present that we just unboxed it's, together live. It's got that what, the, the solo cup. The, the What is the? Yeah, the, it does. The, what the is jazz it called? Cup. The jazz, the, yeah, solo jazz. Yeah, that, it's got that look to it. Jazz. I love it. I forever love it that. It does. <laughs> That's it's. Okay, this is immediately the best thing they've ever made. I haven't even... <laughs> this is immediately the best thing they've ever made. <laughs> Look how much the aesthetics matter to us. We're crazy people, but we care. Now, moving on to other things. Look at this. Uh, the Retrotech dad is getting PlayStation 3 to work on the Win 600. Look at this game. Calling All Cars is running pretty dang well yeah he got a lot of ps3 games to kind of run at a really really decent frame rate like an actual playable i mean obviously your, yeah. your higher end ps well, you're not going to be playing no last of us on here uh, as far as i understand but like you know some really good you know like it, yeah. it's beyond what i expected like i have my my win 600 I'm, I'm really starting to fall in love with this guy for a couple specific reasons but um yeah you are i, I mean when this you released i didn't too. think that ps3 was going to be even on the menu like and then all yeah. of a sudden i get this video from him saying hey look i'm doing a bunch of ps3 emulation it's like yeah to and, me, buddy. <laughs> i mean and he's selling me on the fact that it plays calling all Ca calling all cars which is one of my favorite ps3 games because it's made by mr david jaffe mm -hmm. of the twisted metal and god of war series mm -hmm. so this was his little indie game that no one ever talks about but it's pretty freaking cool we just people have been pushing this thing more and they say that if you get a 32 gig ram stick in there you can allocate even more memory to the gpu and so you might be able to push this thing even further okay uh i'm all about it well it is now september of 2022 we've had a chance to look at it we've had a chance to digest the specifics we've had a chance to really test we it have. you know positive negative stubs right you're you're looking for a Windows handheld for a, a fairly decent price that you can buy today. Yeah. Do you buy the Win six hundred? Uh currently I would. Okay. Yeah. It always I would. that price that price always gets me though. But you know, check out we have the review out. We have the RH review and we have a written review coming from Flatfoot Fox later this week too. So uh, check out our reviews on that and our final thoughts. Damien has the Blue Win 600 he's been demoing out. Damien's done some battery tests he's going to share on the show soon. Yep, you'll see and it on our like YouTube shorts section is where that's going to come yeah, you... in. Within about a week or so, I think, is what we're going to see. But it's surprising. Like, we're talking up to yeah. almost six hours at this point. I've been able to... Yeah, I was going to say, you got six hours out of this thing? Mm -hmm. Retro Tech Dad is another champion of the Win 600. He started his channel on that topic, mm -hmm. so uh, proud of that dude. Keep it up, man. All right, other stuff. Ah, Suikoden in 1 and 2. Look at this. So we've been talking about the remaster. Damien's very excited. And uh, I am too. And they're comparing. Okay, what did the old game look like, if anyone forgot? This is going to give you upgraded backgrounds in HD. It's going to give you updated effects um, as far as, like, the pixel art. Um, yeah. Um, they have a new audio. So, like, a lot of the environmental sounds have been added when they just yeah. didn't exist for the most part outside of just, like, a couple sound effects. Um, yeah. The sound effects for battle are, are basically in HD. You're going to get surround sound on a lot of that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. um, they've added an autosave system, which... I don't really ever recall being an issue be considering the type of game it is, but it's nice to be able to turn it off and, and move along yeah. without having to worry about anything. Um, yeah. Fast forwarding through battle. That's a thing that we need to see on JRPGs whole, in the year 2022. That's, that's for a sure. whole thing. Um, and they also <laughs> list a conversation log. I don't know what that is as far as like what that's going to apply as far as Suikoden goes, because I've seen that definition change a couple game, across a couple games, but you know, maybe it's, one of the it, looks, it might actually I mean, help if you ever walk away from the game for very, two months and then come back <laughs> so you can tell what you i did. mean i mean scenes like this are just a very stark contrast yeah. too. like a lot more color a lot more light that's a hell it. of a remaster i hope Taking, they don't over bloom it yeah don't over bloom our hype of friend retrogame.evo who is doing some really cool things look at this custom pokemon 
Mew Mini buttons. Oh, that's so, so good. Cute. Those are resin buttons, it looks like. Uh, made a galaxy themed Mew Mini here. I want that one so bad. I don't even know why. I'm going to get that for the girls for Christmas. That's what I'm going to do. Look at the Ginset operating system, by the way. Like, how good is that picture what? that you put together? <laughs> oh, it's 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 brilliant. You know what's crazy about uh, Retro Game Evo here is that he has he has one Miu Mini. His in Instagram feed and and shop are filled with all these different Miu Mini builds. He Same owns device. one Miu Mini that he just swaps the buttons out every day on, and the sticker, and just takes pictures. I'm like, how do you get away with that? How do you not buy multiple? He's like, I just got one. How I just swap stuff those around. Screws. <laughs> I I'm like. <laughs> I am over here being cra a crazy person buying a Miu Mini for each different version I want to build for it. So you just have, you don't play on them, but they're really cool looking. It's just like, hey, I made Look some like combos. really high quality buttons. This is, I mean, ah, yeah. The biggest thing I've seen people say about him is like, I wish he would resock. Well, it happened. So make those purchases. Yeah, it's time. Go over to retrogame.evo to get yourself some good buttons. Not just for the Mew Mini, but for all your Corpo handhelds like Game Boy and Game Boy Advanced, uh, as well as uh, he's making them for the RG300X, so mm -hmm. be on the lookout. Now, let's talk about Game of the Week, shall we? This week, it is Kadash. You saw this if you watched the Super Zoo review. <laughs> uh, Kadash is for the uh, <laughs> TurboGrafx-16. One for the arcade and one for the Genesis. The Genesis being the most... I'm for the Genesis. Yep, the Genesis being the most basic of the... of You know, you lose a couple classes that you can, right. you can play with, but obviously Genesis is probably the easiest to get running. Plus, it has... Uh, continues where the turbo graphics 16 does not this is the closest Perfect. we're ever going to get to an rpg in this category so for people who don't know our game of the uh -huh. week system that rabbit has set up is a uh is you know one game every week you get a half a point towards rh merch if you if you complete the game and um our only parameters we have are that they have to be under two hours it was fun i beat this in the day like on saturday really the day it came out just i gotta play this right through it in game of the month it is nomination time right now right so you still have what a few days to nominate yes i believe you have and i'm looking this up in real time we yeah have until end the... the end of the 24th yes so it's 5 p.m okay. pacific or 8 p.m eastern uh united oh. states time until so you can make a nomination the theme of the month is ghosts so it must be a ghosts. game that features spooky features haunting not contains but features ghosts but features a ghost yep and if you're watching this show and you have no idea what we're talking about, uh, our dis in our Discord, we do a game of the month every month. So you, we have three games technically, uh, and you vote on it and then you play it and you get points and then you can you apply those points towards RH merch, show and things and here's Retro Game Core. Um, or you can put it towards like a messenger bag eventually mm -hmm. and uh, enter into all sorts of crazy shenanigans with us uh which please do and just the shilling that happens for everyone's favorite game gets really intense people get very passionate and it's also fun so come have fun uh we also again have that game of the week that uh rapid drops every week and a game of the year which this year is super mario world right. so beat that game any time in a year you get a, a point for that uh, one full point yeah is that right full point yeah yep. well one full point so come nominate a game. Come in our Discord, discord.gg forward slash retro handhelds. Yeah. And I just want to say you have retro handhelds, you emulate games, mm -hmm. and you have a hard drive or an SD card or something that's full of thousands and thousands of video games. And I know because I was this person, you set up a, a handheld, you do all the tweaking, you do all the adjusting, setting up settings, getting all the retro arc settings, the, the, the shader set up, but you don't know what to play because you have that the what is it the, the fallacy of choice is what it's called or the yeah you've got uh, all those games that you can play this will help you mm -hmm. this will make your life happy you are going to have input and then you're going to be told what games to play you'll play them you will get free stuff you're going to love it get in our discord server yeah. play these games that's great it's just like a book club but with video games <laughs> okay lastly we have in our deal of the day well now deal of the week we have the Serious Sam bundle from Humble Bundle. Mm -hmm. Now, if you like just running and gunning, blowing aliens up, man, Serious Sam has you covered in spades for 20 bucks here. You get 17 different Serious Sam related games or DLC. Uh, pick this up 
in our affiliate link in our description, and that's going to support our charity Child's Play. It's just a really good, like, dopamine-based shooter where you're just, like, constantly just annihilating everything in your path. I love it. Uh, it's, and it's a really, really good multiplayer game. Like, playing this with just a couple friends, running through a campaign together in co-op mode, uh, helping each other out, and, you know, getting just rocked by demons is just, uh, it's so much fun. So I just, I, I have such good memories playing all these serious Sam games over the years. I, I gotta pick up this bundle still. There are so many gosh darn bundles. Oh, uh, wait. Oh no, it's happening again. Uh, oh no. Watch out. Watch out. Hey guys, it's Raven and someone has a sword. I heard them out there screaming. Run. Run, oh god, he has a sword. Rapid. Uh, Rapid likes to watch Blue's Clues alone in his room. He gets really into it. He like screams, the clue, the clue, it's right there. I don't really say anything to him. He's not hurting anyone, but it's weird. Oh man, whew. Oh, that was crazy. Everything's fine now. I hate chickens. We're all good here now. Hey, Damien. And that will wrap things up for us today. Why don't you like, comment, and subscribe for your weekly drop of retro news. This has been Stubbs. This is Damien. Uh, and this has been RH Weekly. We'll see you next week. See you next time, everybody. Oh, bro. Okay, here's what we gotta do. We gotta take the Wi-Fi out of the RGB20S. Okay, we're, we're gonna take the Wi-Fi out, and then we're just gonna, um, we're gonna save like 20 cents a unit. Not a drop in there, my friend. I'm here to save the handheld scene. What are you doing?